in the long run, maybe it will take three years, maybe it will take four years, maybe it will take 10 years before the kidneys will, can start um, getting destroyed. Now, is that really worth using and just having that kind of future? That is the reason why I actually never started on any of that. Because what for? What am I waiting for to have all this um, distraction in my body while my kidneys are still healthy, while my liver is still healthy? I, I'm going to keep it that way or even keep not even nourish it some more. Um, when I was waiting for a, a treatment protocol for me for Sjogren's, which I wasn't aware yet, I was already afraid that I would be placed on the same medications that my patients were taking. And I was aware about my patients' medications. I was so aware about the prednisone, about the plaque in your hydrochloroquine, hydroxychloroquine. And uh, right now, that's what we use also for our COVID patients. And there's such a competition for that. And there's also a very high price you pay because it's very in demand right now. And there's very more demand than supply. So it, you have more copay on that one, even if you have insurance. And um, for me, I was just thinking, if if um, I know once I see my rheumatologist, my endocrinologist, and they set out a treatment plan for me, I'm sure this is the, the stuff that they are going to give me. And I waited for an appointment for them four months um, later after I, I discovered uh, my labs. And um, during that four months that I was, was suffering, I was just like, I need to do something already because I know um, it is not worth waiting for what they're going to give me. Now, when I finally saw them, they really actually prescribed me those medications. And I was just like, I was, I was really right. This is not worth waiting for. And I am glad I am now on my third week on my rapid healing. And there's actually nothing to, to treat anymore on these medications because, because I'm, I'm good. I'm good now. I feel great.